Hello everyone and welcome back. One question that keeps popping back um, is if I ever use uh, ligatures and the answer is yes because um, you're not going to be able to isolate like this every single time. Uh, you're going to have cavities that uh, go pretty deep and perhaps they go underneath the gingival margin so you're going to need to have some extra tools at your disposal in order to invert the dam like I have done here uh, for a specific cavity now I use floss like this I chose this very dark floss because uh, uh, it's easy to demonstrate how to tie a simple uh, ligature what you do is take the floss and you put it in half and then you're going to make a nice bow in the middle take the end of your floss and put it through the bow and now all you have to do is gently tie it and you have yourself a simple ligature like this these are very comfortable to use if you have an assistant because your assistant is going to be able to fix the end of your ligature on the palatal aspect of your tooth by using a metal probe and you will be able to use both of your hands in order to tighten the bow and keep it where you want it uh, however sometimes this won't work so you need a different kind of ligature the self-tightening one just like the first time we are going to put our floss in two and then we are going to make a nice bow in the middle excuse me like this and then we're going to put the end through but we're not going to let it go we are going to put the other end of the ligature through right here and now this is going to be self-tightening and it's also double you're going to be able to tighten this with one hand so you're going to be able to hold it here by yourself and as you apply tension it's going to self tighten and it's going to invaginate the rubber dam see you soon